People come after education, not for certificates. Typically, that's a, uh, but this this will be in addition to certificates and and bolstering your your resume and your LinkedIn profile. The fact that you can put many of these things into practical usage will again, you know, it it it'll be the difference between a successful guy and and also Ryan. The trick for you, and and this is the only advice that I want to want you to take away, um, is. Uh, Whatever you learn in class, you've got to put it into action. And I'm telling you this as a teacher, I was a pathetic student, right? Uh, and, the, and the reason why I was a pathetic student is because uh, for me, I did my engineering and instrumentation technology and I hated every day of my course is because I could not put into practice. I don't know why I was learning. You guys are gifted. You guys are learning um, uh, digital. It's it's. It's very easy for you to put it into action because only when you start putting it, uh, putting it into action, practically trying it out, will you know if it's working for you or not. So that's the only thing. So learn as much as possible, but the actual learning happens away from this hall, away from this room. Is when you sit by yourself and you start putting it into action. That's the only thing that I want to caution you, and I also want to encourage you to become uh, practical user, users of knowledge. Yes. Right. Okay, so quickly, you have um, a few minutes to ask some questions. Kipo, why don't you pick up the process? Oh, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. So, any Sorry. questions if you have? So, I usually carry along the, uh, a big bar of uh, Cadbury's rum and raisin bar, and that's usually given to the first person who asks a question. <laughs> I wasn't prepared this time. So, I have a question. Yes. Um, this is in terms of consultation. You know, being a digital marketing consultant, what are the skills required you know, to become a digital marketing consultant? The best skill you require is understanding what is the need of the client or the person you are consulting. Understand what is his need. And if you can use digital to help him you know, meet his objective, you are a success. So I've known companies who come with a very clear focus. So I'm a digital marketer. I, I run a consulting firm myself. Uh, if a company comes to me and says that, hey, I want you to help me with my online reputation management. And can you help my brand online? I need to focus all my energy and my team's energy to making sure his reputation online improves. There could be another client who, come, who comes and says, listen, I want digital as a way to increase sales leads for me. And that's what you've got to put all your energies in order to doing every strategy that's possible that's going to help increase the sales. So that's the, that's the technique and the trick that as a digital marketer you need to have. I'd like Sir. to know... Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, can you? Go ahead, go ahead. Okay. I, want, I would like to know the scope of uh, digital marketing uh, helping us out to become entrepreneurs. Like, on, on, on your own, like, so is your question how entrepreneurs can use digital or how can you become an entrepreneur? Yes, using digital yeah. marketing. So I think it's the easiest. You're, you're looking at one, you're looking at another person. So I think the, the beautiful thing is that, um, see, you you got to understand that there's nothing called exclusively digital. If somebody says digital market is unique, um, I think you've got to step back. It is marketing done in a digital age because the marketing principles don't change they would continue to remain the same right so it's your ability to adapt and this is where a beautiful opportunity lies because there are lots of organizations who are extremely skillful in marketing they have a marketing manager they have a chief marketing officer they